Hey everybody, it's PC here, and welcome to Loco. Some of you probably remember me doing a video on this about a year ago. It was just a tech demo at the time, and uh, as you can see, the developer has been working really hard on the game. And I thought I'd give you guys a little bit of a tour of uh, what's going on and where it's at, and uh, drum up a little bit more support for what the developer is, developer is doing a really good job on. I'm actually enjoying this. He's actually got quite a few cars in the game. Uh, keep in mind this is still really in development. Uh, they have been doing a lot of work. They're using a dynamic track placing method. And I'll show you that in a second. And they're trying to look at better ways of doing it because uh, you'll probably see in some areas the uh, track is a little, little iffy. But uh, as you can see, it's not too bad. Uh, there is a, a terrain editor. I'll show you that in a second. You can actually get to it here, and you can level it up go up down it's about it right now there's no tunnels no water um again early access so there's still gonna be a lot coming along and that is really good uh, but i was talking about the track area here and you can sort of see it here and the track placement basically what it works how it works is uh can't do it here because i'm in the train mode but let me get out of here and then we're back into the train editor. Uh, unfortunately, there's only one save slot, so I have to actually save and then load every time I want to actually uh, do any work on the track or the props or anything like that. A uh, little interesting thing here, I might bring this up to the developer when you move the camera. The music goes a little funny. I don't know what does that, but it works. But as you can see, there's a little town we were in there, and the track, and uh, multiple different zoom levels so i didn't show that show you that while you're in the train this is the furthest out zoom so it gets you a nice area of the map down here it shows you how big of an area it is and it's actually significantly large regarding the fog there is um environment options go in here you can adjust the amount of fog that you have really foggy or no fog at all you can adjust how much sunlight there is uh the sun height sun direction of course if you Light on the east, light on the west, whatever you want to do. Entirely up to you. Uh, as far as I know, there's no dynamic lighting in the game yet, but uh, it'll come in due time. Uh, so, yeah, as you can see, you got different types of track here. You got different switches, crossovers, all sorts of different. Now, these aren't what you actually build with, these are main connection points, we call it. There's even a few stations. A tunnel which does doesn't match the terrain of this right now but it will in due time and almost like a little catwalk of sort see this one it doesn't show here um again it this is a higher terrain map and the tracks for some reason snap to one here so i had to level the whole thing and then put on top in fact over here where it's a little more flat now i got some area around here somewhere Again, bear in mind it is early access, so everything is going to be changing is in develop development. So you can see it's got a slot in there where uh, this one doesn't, this is just a, the dead end. And all you really do is you just place one section down there, and go and use the same one, place it over here. And you use the mouse wheel to rotate, place it again. Then what you do is you mouse over the, the white dots, you click and you drag to the next one, and it automatically generates the track for you. So what it is, like here, I'd put a switch here and a switch here and just connect the dots, basically. And that's how it works, and then uh, you've got different things, you got different types of turn turntables. Uh, I do have one over here. And i got to talk to him about uh, movement speed in the menu. Set up a nice little rail yard here. I tried to get a little something going on. There's a whole bunch of props, that, too, that we can look at. But yeah, there's uh get down to a closer view here the actual turntable uh, well when you have a, a train on there you just click on it click on it I'll actually rotate it and you can go to the little what are called carriage houses or something I don't know I don't know exact name if it is but yes this is what we have so far it's been about a year in development I'm actually really glad they worked on it uh, I was doing a bit of a QA and a with the developer um, what am I going to do here let's Go back into editing uh, train mode here. Hit finish and then do another thing about this too. Let's get the engines up. So we got three different types of engines right now. I have seen a fourth one, but I don't know if that's a type of mod or something. He's got a fair amount of different cars. 
Now, what he wants to do, or I won't say he, what they want to do, because I can't confirm their gender at this time, but uh, what they want to do is they want to have a full-on model railroad simulator. And uh, I'm not when I'm saying model railroad, I mean model railroad. It's not going to be like a tycoon game, like a Transport Fever or Railroad Empire. This is just going to be straight up modeling. And he, they want to have... Uh, you want to have basically all the goods going through all the different uh, processes they go through. Like you'll go and pick up trees at a, at a lumber mill, for instance, and then you drop those, or not a lumber mill, at a forest. And you drop drop those off at a log sawmill. The sawmill will cut them into planks. You take the planks to a furniture manufacturer, and the furniture, furniture manufacturer would make furniture out of it, and then you would take it to like a commercial district. So basically wants to in a way, educate about the process of how goods are produced and transported, but at the same time, keep it a fun little game. So as you can see, uh, the engines do have an in-cab view. This is the only one that actually has windows. Uh, the other two, the bigger ones, they don't have any windows in the front. You can't exactly lean out the window. Uh, it'd be nice if you could interact with the controls in here, but they put a lot of detail into the models already. Isn't bad. So we'll go back into... This view here, you can actually write up close to it and all that stuff. Which is all operated manually. You actually mouse over it and just click on it and it'll just change the direction of the track. As you and there we go. And then as far as coupling goes, go ahead and stop this. They've also implemented two. I'll mention it. Uh, being able to control multiple engines. And this is something I had asked them about. And I asked them a whole bunch of questions like what they wanted to do, what their plans were, um, Possibly different era styles every, going everywhere from like the old, old fashioned steam locomotives up to the, the new diesel electrics that we have today. But as you can see, there's a, this one here, and then uh, there's a little button here. You can see the blue arrow that'll tell you which engine it's going to connect to next. You mouse over the, the throttle and the brake, it'll point to which one it's actually controlled to. So if I go here, then I can go ahead and control this one. And that one forward, we can go switch back to this one and get this one going in the other direction. So that is really interesting. And as I was saying about the cab view on this one, I'm on the wrong train. I'm not going to let me go cab view in here. Apparently not. Early access, that's fine. But anyways, yeah, that is that. So uh, let me get some more cars on the track and let's go for a little spin. Yeah, I've just placed a few of them now. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention too is about how the... The uh, cars are actually coupled together. These are actually might close, not too far apart to show you. Uh, but basically, what it is is there's a chain here, and uh, I'll bring, bring the engine up over here in a second. And we might as well use the switch tracks. Switch over this way, we go this way, and we want to go down that track. So, switch that one over. One. We'll grab. Back her up. There's a brake too, so you can stop if you have to, but the damage, I don't think. Going for a closer look. See where we're actually going here. And these chains, it's actually a manual couple and uncouple. So there you go, you see it's connected. There it's not, you click on the chain and it connects. And uh, that's called clipping, let's not do that. At least we don't have physics issues. And like so. Anyway, I'll be back. And we're off. So as, you can see, as you can see, you can throw whatever cars you want on. Of course you can, but uh, that's what I like. He's, we've got lots of different variations of cars, like some of the, the coal cars, the hopper cars. Uh, there's different states of them, just like when you get into the props building. Actually, we can have a look at the props while we're going to the little town here. I haven't come up with the name of it. It was just putting stuff in. But as you can see, little things... The wire outhouse barrel, and then you have different types of houses, and there's like water pump state, water stations, I guess, for trains, different things, even a little phone booth, dolly, stuff like that. And these are just the start of things you can add. Now, the trees, it's not just one tree, they, they have a lot of foliage to actually add different types of trees and 
shrubs. Like if we go here, this is actually just a fern. Just a small little thing like that. So that is what we have here. And then uh, we're going to actually place different vehicles. It's nice. Uh, this, this loading platform that you put along the side here, it's only set up for what? I'm going to guess it's coal. Um, but he's got different variations, uh, some with walls, some without, some with the cover, some without the cover. Uh, of course, you know, a lot of time goes into the, the model. I'm sure they work full time too, so this is just something they do in their spare time, and they're doing a pretty good job of it. Uh, different signals too. I um, don't know much about signals, so <laughs> I just do whatever. Anyways, uh, I think it's a good place to call it here. Uh, not too much we can do at the moment, but just to show you where it's coming. Uh, if you're interested in showing your support and getting the game for yourself, you'll find some links in the description down below. You'll find a link to Steam where you'll find the game. Uh, you'll also find a link to uh, local railroad, local railroad YouTube channel and their Twitter. And you can go there and you can actually follow the progress and see what they're doing and different ideas and things they're coming up with, like even the whole lighting environment setting here. The sun down. A little dark. There, the shaders are a little off. Uh, I think it's something to do with my actual art itself. But I should bring this all up. Why is this? Oh, yeah, sun height. Uh, they put a vintage filter on this, too. That's what I found interesting. Getting to the old, old school. Needs a little bit more of a brown tint to it, though, I think. Maybe a little bit more grayness, but. And there you go. Yeah, so don't forget to show your support, and I uh, hope to see you in the next one. Catch you later.